So I actually went to go watch the new Scream movie, right? And I loved it. Now, I know last time I went to go watch the movie, it was the Dungeons and Dragons, right? And I don't want to seem biased or anything, right? But I actually do, like, enjoy these movies that I watch. You know, I'm not a picky guy. I'm not going to act like some elitist or some higher class person. Like, I actually thoroughly enjoy these movies. Like, as long as they're good, like, they're 10 out of 10s for me. Now, personally, I like Scream. Ghostface is my favorite horror icon, you know, so I got a little picky about it. So I, I gave the movie an 8 out of 10, but I, I'm going to tell you why, right? Personally, it was just too many jokes being swung around. Now, I'm comparing it to the first movie, and I ain't going to lie, it, it was funny in some parts, but I think they were just doing too much jokes. Like, you know, like some parts we didn't need the jokes, and it got to the point where, let's say... How in the first two movies of Scream, right? How there, you know there wasn't going to be any murders, right? It was just peaceful, you know. They're just walking through class or, like, walking through the park and stuff like that. But it was always that, like, ominous feeling that something might happen. Or, like, it just, it was very, like, that unsettling feel, right? Like, nothing was ever really safe. Like, sure, you were, like, they were safe, but... Even though they were smiling and stuff, it just didn't feel safe. Maybe it was because, like, the grittiness of the film. Maybe it was because the soundtrack of the f- originals. But in this one, I didn't really get that feeling. It, it was more of, like, when they were safe, they were safe. And then they kind of flipped the mood to then go on to the, uh, like, the next, I, don't, I guess, like, 20 minutes in that same scene to then have the murderer show up. So personally just too many jokes i mean some of them were all right but some of them was just too much uh secondly um i I feel like i had to watch the other screen movies to understand who the characters were because i only saw scream one to three i haven't watched four or five uh actually no wait didn't five the one i watched point is i haven't watched the previous one all right I've only watched one to three. Those are the only ones I watched. So they were like referencing stuff from, I guess, the previous incident that happened with them. And I, I didn't understand it at all. I Maybe if I actually had watched it in preparation before this movie, I probably would have understood a lot more that had happened and who the characters were in their relationship with each other. Maybe even the jokes would have landed for me a lot more. But personally, I didn't watch them. So it just didn't land for me. Uh. Next thing is, is, uh, I get, there was just one scene where they were sitting on the bench. It was like towards the beginning of the movie. They were sitting on the bench and, uh, I forgot her name. Chad's sister, right? She was, she's like some movie guru chick and she's talking about all these cliches and stuff. And I don't know where they were going with that scene personally, because they didn't really touch back on what she said until like the end of the movie. And it was just awkward as fuck for me. I'm going to be honest. Like, it was just awkward as fuck. Like, it was, I don't know if they were trying to go for, like, some kind of third wall, fourth wall break, whatever you call it. Um, I Listen, I already knew about uh, Scream existing in that movie. Like, they called it Stab, Stabathon, you know, stuff like that, Ghostface. But, like, my thing was is that I don't, I don't know what they were doing there. Like, it was just naming all the cliches of horror movies it was, it was just weird and out of place personally like if that wasn't in the movie like i wouldn't have cared also uh personally for me you know throughout the whole movie of go like with ghost face all right i'm not gonna spoil anything for you guys but like personally what i felt from the first movie is that ghost face he was more i guess you could say thrilled about the chase this one I don't know, there, there wasn't much chasing going on, personally. Like, sure, it was, you know, in their dorm room in some places. Some of them were in, like, the apartment building. But, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe it was because they were all grouped up together. Maybe maybe that's why um, he wasn't chasing them as much. But, like, personally, like, let, let's go back to the first uh, movie, right? When It was, like, the first intro scene where... The chick is by herself watching a movie and he asks, what's her scary movie? Once he, like, actually starts to hunt her down 
Like, this chick is just running through the whole fucking house. She, I think, what was it? She even goes through her own fucking backyard. It got to, a, I think it got to a point where she actually ran through her backyard. Like, they fucking ran. Like, like I don't know what type of training they did to be running that long. But, like, that scene was pretty fucking long. Like, it was like a cool 12 minutes. Now, in this one, when they were in the dorm. um, I mean, I guess I could spoil it for you, but. Uh, when, when they killed Quinn, right, the dorm roommate person, right, killed Quinn, immediately ran to the Asian chick, stabbed her, right, sliced, uh, Chad's sister, and then I think they chased her, they chased, well, I mean, Ghostface chased them to the room, they barricaded themselves, and that's it, after that, that's when the guy across, uh, you know, the window shit, put up the ladder so they could like walk across like it wasn't it, it wasn't much chasing going on if we're being honest don't i think the most chasing that there was uh was at the end that one was actually like okay this this is something i'm familiar with it's because they were chasing around the whole fucking theater i mean given that i'm gonna spoil it again given that there was fucking uh two ghost faces like okay like at least there was still a chase you know it was really good, and I, I, back going back again to like watching the previous movie. There were some parts where like uh, the main character's, I guess, like brother or father, was talking to her in some kind of like hallucination. I didn't understand that at all. Uh, I didn't watch the previous movie. Uh, they didn't. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I I actually never even knew. That they came out with another one, like before this one with the same character, so it was it was kind of weird for me. Uh, I I already knew the news reporter chick, like I obviously already knew that. Like there there was a lot of callbacks to like the older screen movies, which I really liked. I I caught on to every one of them, like it was amazing. But yeah, nah, it was it was pretty fucking good. I I enjoyed it. Uh, Jenna Ortega is in it, which was a surprise for me. I was like, what the fuck? It, it, it honestly, when I first saw the trailer for Scream, I think this was like right after I saw the trailer for, uh, Wednesday, the show on Netflix about Wednesday Adams and the Adams family and stuff. I was like, are they going to pull another Tom Holland and have him like be in all these different projects and stuff in the same year? Like it was, it was memed about it for a while. So you guys should know what I'm talking about, but like, I thought that was going to happen with Jenna Ortega. It was, I don't know, but I enjoyed it. You guys co- should go watch it. It's very worth the watch. Definitely worth the watch. It's not a scary movie. It's a slasher. Okay? So go into it expecting a lot of killing and not a lot of jump scares. That's all I'm going to say. I think the next time I'm going to talk about a movie is probably going to be uh probably going to be about Mario. Actually, no, I'm not going to I'm going to keep that to myself. But Evil Dead though. Oh, that's going to be a banger. Other than that, guys, I mean I'm going to definitely upload Dead Space. Don't think I didn't forget. Okay? I'm not going to treat it like Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Because it's Dead Space is actually a good game. Unlike that one. But I'll definitely get some uh, Dead Space coming out in the next like two days-ish. I have the video recorded already. I just got to edit it. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Go watch some movies. There's good ones coming out in the next three months. Other than that, bye.